Good morning. I'm Diana Barnhart. I'm a docent up at the Elephant Seals, and I love it. It's so cool. So, what we have here is a lot of people, when they come to see the Elephant Seals, they end up asking about great white sharks. Why do they ask about great white sharks? They're not seals. Yeah, they're the favorite food, great white sharks. No one's ever seen a great white shark be born, but they know now that they're actually being born off the coast of Southern California. The reason they know that is they start finding young sharks, and I think so. How do you know a young shark? When was it born? The way they know is that when they're first born, they have a belly button where the yolk sac attaches. And so the scientists check these babies, babies, here's how big a baby is. So this is an idea of how big they are. When the baby is born, it's this big. Shark babies of this kind of shark, the eggs the babies grows in are inside the mother, but then they hatch inside the mother, which is kind of weird, and the baby is born the baby. So this is the size of a brand new baby great white shark. The babies stay in Southern California. They like the warm water. When they're about nine feet long, they start turning into an adult. They're still young. They're still juveniles. They're still learning. But up to this point, the only thing they ate was really soft stuff because their, their teeth and the sharks don't have any bones. Everything is cartilage, like your nose, like your ear. And so when they're, before they're nine feet long, the cartilage is so soft in their jaws that they can't bite things. Think of trying to bite a football full of air. You can't do it either. So it isn't until they're about nine feet long that finally the gums have hardened enough that they can actually bite a, a, a mammal, like a seal. Okay, that's nine feet long. Then, when people start seeing, oh, I saw a great white shark, usually the ones that they're seeing that are the full-blown adults are this long. And so this is the average length of an adult male. What's a male? A boy. And this is the length of that. This is the size of an average female. Notice the females are longer than the males. And think of this animal. It's not, it's not an eel. This is a, it goes up and down and so And this is a huge animal. The biggest shark that they've ever found was a female. And this is how long she was. Big blue. They can live to be 70 years old, and big blue, for some reason, they think is now 50 years old, so she'll still get big. So sharks have to be moving in order to breathe. Not all sharks, but great white sharks have to be moving in order to breathe. And so this green great white shark, I don't know why it's green has gills on the side, that's how it breathes. So it has to have its mouth open as it goes through the water so that the water goes in, comes out the gills, and the gills remove the oxygen. If they stop moving, they can't breathe. So they're moving all the time. One of the fun things they found on sharks that they've marked, they, they put tags on them that they can keep track of where they are, and they have found, they, they saw sharks that were always staying in the same area for like four hours, just kind of moving around a little bit. And when they got fancier tags, what they found is that the shark can shut off half of its brain, this is the sleep, it shuts off half of its brain, and which makes it go in tight circles. And it does that for about 20 minutes. And then it shuts off the other side of the brain, and it circles the other way. 
it shuts off the first part and circles the other way. It'll do that for about four hours. That's how they sleep and continue moving. These look like teeth. These act like teeth, but they're not teeth. What these are, are modified scales. Scales are the skin of a fish. And this is a, this is a real shark. It's not a great white shark. But this guy has on his back these teeth that like these. These are actually, if you run your hand up the back, it'll, it, the Indians used it for uh, sandpaper because it's that kind of shark. And since they're not really teeth, they don't have any roots. So if they bite something that's hard, like a bone or whatever they bite that's hard, the tooth breaks off. It doesn't have a root. However, when you get a close-up of this, look at the inside. It takes about a week for the next tooth to stand up to replace the one that broke off. This is a juvenile great white shark. It's just beginning to be an adult. It's no longer really a child. And he's learning to bite things that are bigger. And so this guy is the one that they're having problems with in Morro Bay where they have a lot of sea otters. Because when the male sea otters head out around the rock out to explore the big world, he bites them. And he's, it's, a, it's a, called an exploratory bite. He bites it to see if it's something good to eat. He gets a mouthful of hair, spits it out, and, but he doesn't eat it. But once you puncture the skin of a sea otter, the sea otter will die from the cold. Uh, that's a major reason why the sea otters, we don't have as many sea otters as you would think we would have based on the number of babies that are born. This is an adult. This is an adult great white shark. The teeth up here are different. If you can get a close up, they're triangular. And they're not only triangular, but they're serrated like a steak knife. The ones on the bottom are sharp, but these are like steak knives. And so when it wants to eat something, it first it rolls its eyes back so that it doesn't get any blood and guts in its eyes. Then it sticks its lower jaw out like this, with its eyes rolled back, and it grabs the seal or the elephant seal or the whatever or the, or the other fish, anything it's going to eat, and it grabs it with these, and then goes and saws off big chunks which it swallows whole. It doesn't chew its food, it swallows it whole. This one also has those teeth because they're not teeth, they're modified scales and as it bites a bone it breaks off. The little sharks as they get bigger start moving north up the coast. So they're staying down south of Santa Barbara um, while they're little. They tend to be in groups that freaks people out because if you see one small, what's a small shark, seven feet long, you see small sharks, there will be like four, six, ten, kind of in a group. They're spread out some, but they're all together in this bay and then they all go over there to that bay. Um, but they're not looking to bite you. They look really scary because they're close to the shore. Scientists think that's because it's warmer near the shore, and until they get bigger, they get cold. So they're warmer next to the shore. They're also safer, because the big bad guys that would eat them can't come in that far. So as they get bigger, they start heading north, and that's us. So they start heading north. We have along here, all the time, juvenile great white sharks. Juveniles. They're not interested in eating something like a, a, a mammal. They're not interested in eating you. Our area, Piedras Blancas, where we go to see the elephant seals, is protected. And the reason that it's protected from these big scary guys is because we're relatively shallow. And the way the big guys attack is they come up at 25 miles an hour and hit at the, the whatever it is they're after. Like hit the shark, hit the, hit the elephant seal. Well, it's not deep enough for them to get up to speed. The other reason is the seaweed, because kelp blocks their view. We think they, they were 
that they use their sense of smell a lot, but actually they're using their, their visual hunters. So they come up and they're looking and at the very last minute, they roll their eye back and they're blind, and then they're using different senses. But before that, they're coming up and they want to see what it is they're going for. This gets in the way. And so we haven't had major problems with great white sharks there. Kelp is a safer place to play for sea lions and elephant seals. And kelp on the beach means that that area is probably safer for you too. Come up and visit Piedras Blancas Elephant Seal Rookery. There's so much to see and learn. You'll like it.